Seth has royally fucked up. Seth the programmer is an anime YouTuber. You guys do not know him. He's done anything in the book so far. There's evidence to prove back this up, and it may be allegations. There are there being allegations at the very moment. But Seth the Creator has been allegedly talking to underage girls, uh, talking to an underage boy, uh, racist, anything you can think of, he's done. And a person named Clyde made a three-hour, three-hour freaking video all about about Seth. And I've listened to about maybe an hour and a half of of a two-hour and forty-six minute video. Now this is insane. Like he, I've never heard of Seth the the the, the uh, programmer. He's an anime YouTuber and he covers a bunch of shit. And apparently he's been he's he's uh, publicly talked shit about about his fans. Uh, I don't look. I say that shit to your face. I hate y'all. I do. I hate you. And I've said it since day one. I call y'all for giving me money. I pack you on site. All we do is just talk each other. You hate me. I hate you. It's a mutual hate relationship. That's just how it is. So he doesn't give a shit about them, and he and the people are eating it up like flies. I mean, that's I mean, that's just normal, I guess. It's just they're eating them up like fucking cereal, just like just enjoying the, his content i guess and he's just been talking talking shit about his friends behind his back he's he's just a scumbag um his content's pretty good but his personality's not so good um he's a pretty pretty shitty guy uh to be honest and i don't know we'll see his response hopefully uh seth makes a response eventually um i don't know we have to see because he Clyde has a grip on on Seth. There is just so much evidence he has jam packed in this. He he made fun of a girl's titties. He's he's made like body shaming a chick, um, talking to a 15, uh, 15 year old girl, asking for nudes allegedly. Um, he's asked a, a a a boy asked a little boy for nudes as well apparently um he stole from patreon he lied about it he said he only made a thousand dollars from this patreon by naruto versus bleach or something like that they were gonna do like a, a video with clyde those two were gonna make a project together and apparently that he lied and said that he only made a thousand dollars from this video but that was a complete lie so not only was the patreon like only like around 1k but like there's like 10 people in my like discord server that were like a hundred dollar donos you know what i mean so like like those guys pretty much paid for the whole thing themselves of the patreon you know what i mean so bro yeah so in the screenshot here, where he's talking to me directly after we had advertised the Patreon, he confirms it made around $10,000. Because he actually made $10,000 from it, and for some reason, he lied about it. I don't know why. And I'm wondering what Seth is, Seth is like process of thinking of why he would do this. I don't understand why Seth would make this. I watched some of his videos, and they're really good. I like them a lot, but he just... Just him as a whole is just not, just not cool. Like, you know, he's, he's not a cool dude. He's a scumbag asshole that is racist. He says the N word freely. He's a white guy. Uh, I believe he's white. He's, um, I'm guessing he's white. I'm pretty sure he is or not black. He says the N word a shit ton. And he says the word, re <laughs> which that's a lot of people don't like that hearing that these days. Um, but is the actual term for you know, someone is special, um, which it, I don't know. It's not okay just to just throw out the word, just the word, um, the just the R word. Re <laughs> just saying that it's just, uh, it's just like with um, <clears throat> with I Dubs. I Dubs says the N word publicly. Everything they just eat it up for years. For years he's been doing this. For three years I heard he's been doing the everything. He's just been talking shit about his friends just being a cold scumbag about it and i think it's the end of seth maybe he could save his career like logan paul <laughs> maybe he can maybe he can re rescue his his career because his career is down the toilet um if this is true um he's made a bunch of things about uh, on 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 twitter about all these um 
suicide and stuff like that. Stuff very fucked up and crazy. Yeah, this happened three years ago or so, or even now. Um, there's a shit, there's so much things about. If you guys want to watch Clyde's video, you guys should go watch it and learn more about it. He has about almost three hours of evidence to back up his 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 just his alleged claim. And hopefully we get a response from Seth. Um, because he's a total scumbag, like I said. I'm just going in a circle at this point. <laughs> so, what do you guys think? You guys think that Seth is a total asshole scumbag and you think he should rot or lose his lose his platform? Because I think he should, if it's true, he needs to lose his platform. And for some reason, he's just going to be the stockpile of pedophiles and shit on YouTube. Like fucking a bunch of a uh, fucking list of YouTubers that gotten caught for some reason. I don't know why so many people are talking to underage girls and underage guys. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, why? Is it because you guys have power or something? It's just tempting? It's hard? I don't know. I'm not a big YouTuber, so I would not know that. So... Let me know what you guys think about the Seth situation. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, it's pretty short. Um, I'm not, I don't have a lot to say about it because there's not a lot to go from other than the alleged uh, allegations towards him. And he hasn't made a response yet since it's been since it's been like almost a week now since this allegations have um, surfaced. So what do you guys think? Do you guys think he should lose his platform or do you guys think that um, he should stay around? What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments.